Hello everyone. Ooh, these glasses is dirty. Let me clean these glasses off. Hello, hello. Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Hello. Thank you for coming in. We talking about getting some clients today. It's by request, okay? Y'all know, I'm sorry, I'm a little bit late. I'm a little bit late because y'all know I got a whole lot of people in this house, okay? You should see how many toothbrushes is upstairs. Wow. Hello, hello, yes, hello. Come on in, come on in. Y'all like my little chalkboard? Y'all like my little chalkboard? I, I, I feel like a real teacher. Wow. Uh, you know, the woman is always the first teacher because we have the babies. But uh, I never suspected or expected that I would ever be some type of teacher. Hello. Hello. Come on in. I'm so happy that everybody is coming. I'm still in school. Graduated in four months. Yay. You are early in, oh wow, where are you? Where are you? Tell me where you are at. Let's see, yeah, tell me where you're at. That's awesome. <clears throat> but you still caught me. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Mm. I bought my water. Memphis, all right, Memphis. Have I been to Memphis? No, I have not been to Memphis. Uh, yeah, Los Angeles, Los Angeles, Atlanta. Yes, come on in. Because we got to get these coins, as Ashley Ann says. My girl, Ashley Ann. Augusta, Georgia. Yay, Augusta. Philly, Philly. Hello, Philly. Uh, Kaleidoscope. Yes, yes. Lexington, New Wave, Lexington. Yay, Lexington. Kentucky. Richmond, Atlanta, Memphis, and Louisville, the Bahamas, Alabama, hey, England, and oh, deep prices, Kentucky, yay! I love all of y'all. I love you. Biloxi, Mississippi, Delaware, wow. Philadelphia, man, this is so exciting that you guys came in today. Oh, you met me at Kroger. Bless your heart. Man, don't we run into each other and stuff? And I love it. Thank you for coming in. Thank you so much. So we're talking about today how to get clients. When a, uh, somebody direct messaged me, bless her heart. I hope that she's on and I hope that she catches it uh, because I told her I would come on live. But I don't uh, share the name, of course, because you don't want um, her to feel embarrassed anyway. All I want is for her to get these tips. So, you know, I'm a veteran. I'm a veteran. I don't do hair anymore. Okay? Okay, baby, thank you. Okay, I don't do hair anymore. I am at home taking care of my grandbabies. I'm retired from behind the chair. But um, when I was in the salon, I never had a problem getting clients. This is why I can speak on it. Otherwise, you know what? If I didn't know, then I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even speak on it. One thing about me is I'm always 100. I, I don't know no other way. I, well, I know another way because I, I could lie if I wanted to. Ain't that right? Can't we lie if we wanted to? It's so easy to do it online. It's so easy to lie online. Ain't it easy? I mean, I could look like I was on top of the world. I really could, but I choose not to. If you look like you're on top of the world, who is it really going to help? Who really will it help? I want people to know that 
I'm just a regular girl from the East End of Lexington. I'm just a regular girl. I, I'm, I'm a very blessed girl, but I'm a regular girl just like you. You see what I'm saying? I had to struggle and everything just like you. Uh-huh. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm a regular girl. I, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm struggling to find my way. I'm just struggling to find my way. You know what I'm saying? Barbados sending some love. Love back to you, LaVons. Love back to you. Okay? I'm just struggling. I'm trying to find my way. I'm trying to figure out what's my next move. You know what I'm saying? I got some plans. But I just go baby steps. Baby steps. And, and I find when I go baby steps, I, I can get there better. You see what I'm saying? And this is all I want you to know is that you can get there, there better and, and more peaceful. You see what I'm saying? If you just do baby steps, don't try to lie. Um, <clears throat> it's one thing I ask God for. And, and uh, it, it's been wonderful. You always bless me. Bless your heart. Thank you so much, Elite Hair Doctor. I ask God to show me for real. I don't, I don't want to pretend. I don't want to act like I'm doing something that, that I'm not. I don't want to be that person that always has to, <clears throat> to lie. <clears throat> One lie leads into another lie and then another, another, and another. I don't, I don't want to, I don't feel like it. You see what I'm saying? Show me for real how to do this thing. And, and let me be real. Let me, let me see for real. Can I do this for real? Okay. Can I be a good wife for real? I, I don't really, I don't want to pretend. Um, because we, we, we really have to do enough of that in, in the work world. This is what we're going to talk about today. We have to do enough pretending in the work world. So if we, if we could, if, if I could be real at home, maybe I could also be real at work. I talk about getting in, um, in actress mode or actor mode. I talk about that a lot. And it's, it's really important for you to learn that. Okay, now, uh, we, this, this certain person said, I love my salon. I love it. Hello, love songs. But I'm just not making no money. I'm just having a problem getting people to come in. I, I love the atmosphere. I love where it's at. I, I, I want to stay but I'm not making no money. Okay, the salon is 40-60 split, but it, it's not, it, 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 it's more like booth rental. So you have to buy your own products, you have to buy your own supplies, you have to do, um, uh, do uh, get your own clientele, you have to do your own marketing. So what the salon supplies is a space for you, okay? This is the person that we're talking about today. Uh, I'm going to give some tips. And the reason why I got on live is because I know somebody's just like her. Praise be to God. The thing about commission that you have to remember. You have to remember commission. Commission is for people who have their own clientele. Now, I know a whole lot of people don't want to hear that. Because commission is your, you, you have a certain percentage that you get. And the salon have a, have a certain percentage that they get. Okay? So the salon doesn't have to feed you clients. But it's really good if they do. 
if you're in an area that doesn't that doesn't get a lot of traffic you see what i'm saying you have to have yourself set up a a, a month at least in advance to make yes a steady living yes okay so we have to when we work commission we have to almost act like we're in a booth rental situation okay so this is this is what happens when you get out of school okay and you don't go where you have an umbrella have you heard me talk about that before when you when you get out of school i suggest for you to go to a place that is going to shelter you praise be to god that you have an umbrella you're protected from the rain from the bad clients from the responsibility of handling everything yourself okay now this stylist has been doing hair for two years she's been professional for two years okay so um that's not a lot of time to be on your own a lot of people don't want to hear that either and you're out you're out by yourself it feels like you're not by yourself because you work in a salon that you really like. And I'm so glad that you like it because there's that, that means if you like it, that means that um, there's people in there that, that will help you. There's other stylists in there that, that are nice to you. Um, there's, 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 um, there's comfort there for you. Okay, but there's no money there for you. Ooh, wee. There's no money. You gotta pay your rent. You gotta pay. You you gotta pay for a car probably. You gotta you gotta have food in the house. You you might have children. Oh Lord. Not to mention you. I mean. Not just your rent, but your bills, your, 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 your monthly bills, your, your bills that are, that are standard. They're your, your fixed bills. Every, something that you have to pay every month, same price every month, but you got to be able to pay that money. So guess what we got to do? If you like it, listen to me, baby. If you like it then you got to go to work. I listed a few things for you. I listed a few things for you. You got to go to work. And I mean, you got to go to work. Okay? All right. Order you some cards. Order you some cards. People don't believe in cards no more, but let me tell you something. Business has a has a common denominator. You know what the common denominator is? Talking to people. The common denominator is people. You got to have them. If you don't have them, you don't have anything. You don't have no money. You don't you don't have a job. You got to learn how to meet people and you have to leave them with something, including an impression. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you got to order you some cards, business cards with not a whole lot of stuff on them. I, I see business cards with a lot of stuff on them. You know what business cards with a lot of stuff on them? You get people with a lot of stuff. Make your business cards very neat and clean. Very neat and clean. Not a bunch of pictures all over them. Not, no. Maybe one. Maybe one. Can you uh, shake my 
Mm -mm, not right now, baby. I'm doing a video, okay? Maybe one picture, something very nice. Maybe, maybe a hairstyle that you did, something very nice. But not a lot of stuff on them. Remember that once you you show people who you are by what you by what you have, by what you hand them, by your personality and things like that. Okay, so you you attract who you are all the time. Okay, so you attract who you are all the time. All right, if you want people that that have uh, color in their hair, uh, or if you have color in your hair, you'll get people that have color in their hair. If you got tattoos and uh, nose rings and all that, then you'll probably get people that have tattoos and nose rings and all of that. Okay, so remember that, that's a, that's a big, big thing because you can't want what you don't have in here. Okay, so you gotta you gotta clean up your heart. Now that takes a while, but we ain't got time. We ain't got time for that right now. You need to make money right now, and so get your cards made, and you have to dedicate passing them out. Okay, you have to dedicate whether you want to pass ten out, whether you want to pass twenty out a day, but you kind of have to. Like, like commit to passing cards out every day, meeting people every day. And it's a lot of work. Remember I said, if you want to make money, you got to go to work. You got to go to work. That's the first thing is getting cards made. You can go to Vistaprint. Vistaprint uh, can print your cards for little or nothing, little or nothing. You don't have to have an extravagant card. In fact, I just I think it's best to stay very nice and neat with when it comes to your cards, your business cards. Because business cards they represent who you are. Okay? So let's remember that, okay? So, uh this is the next thing. This is number 2 that I have down here is shop in the area that your salon is in. Shop in the area that your salon is in. You shop, you go to the restaurant, you go have a drink or wherever you where, whatever you're doing, you go you go in the area that the salon is in. Okay, you did yours at Vista Print? Yes, yes, yes. Okay? So if you shop in the area that your salon is in, you will meet people that are from that area. This is, this is what we want. This is what we want. When you go to the cash register, it's, it's probably somebody that works at the, the, the grocery store. It's probably somebody that works there that lives right up the street or lives 10 minutes away, five minutes away. So remember to shop in the area that you uh, uh, work in, that your salon is in, wherever you work, you should be shopping around that area, okay? Whether it's the mall, whether it's the grocery store, I'm going to stop at the grocery store in the area I work. And you know why? Because you'll, you'll start seeing people. You'll start seeing them, and 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 once you frequent that, they they'll somebody will say, "Man, oh, I just saw you last week. Do you work up the street?" That's a client, potential client. Okay, so shop in the area that you work at. Yes, it works. Uh, I do that around. Yes, I did. I did that for years and years. Everywhere I worked, I shopped in the area that I worked. Because guess why? I want the people to see me. I want the people to see me and I wear my smock cuz I'm stopping in after work, right? Um you said uh, we attract people just like us. I can preach this enough. 
Uh, this is why God gave me the name Elite Hair Doctor. All right. Yes, yes, yes. How did you greet them? Yes, we are going to go over that because beautifully imperfect, that is super important. Um, that's my next one. Beautifully uh, imperfect. Okay. It says practice talking to people. Practice talking to people. Okay. Yes. Practice it. When, when you when you get your groceries and you're at the cashier, say, hi, how you doing today? Usually we don't do that, do we? We have to practice talking to people over and over and over, over and over. If you see somebody in the aisle, hello, how you doing today? Bam. That's all. You practice it. You practice it. You practice it everywhere you go. Hello, how you doing? With a smile. You see? Okay? So practice talking to people. You can also get in the mirror and do your uh, elevator pitch. About three minutes. Your elevator pitch is something that you say. You, you, you just stay. I usually start with a compliment. Yes. Yes. Um, um, let's see. Jamar uh, B. Styles, Jamari B. Styles. Yes, yes, yes. You can start with a compliment, okay? So you so you say uh, in the mirror, you practice saying, hello, my name is Rhonda. How are you today? Uh, I just wanted uh, to stop you today to give you a card and uh, let you know that I work right up the street at the salon. And anytime you're in, in uh, um, the area, you can stop by. Invite, 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 invite. You have to have an inviting spirit about yourself. You can practice this. It doesn't have to be natural. It doesn't have to be natural, but it does have, it, it, it takes some effort. It takes some effort to be like this, okay? But the more and more you practice it, the easier and easier it'll get, you see? It'll get easier and easier, all right? So uh, practice talking to people. The cashier, your waitress, when you're out to eat, your, when you're out to eat, your waitress will come to you and say, hello, my name is, and, and you'll say, hello, um, what do you have good today? Or, or what's your favorite on the menu? You have to practice this, practice this, talking to people all the time, all the time, all the time, okay? And with a smile, with a welcoming spirit, okay? So, like I said, when you come up to someone and you want to introduce yourself, you say, if you walk up to a potential client, uh, y'all may be standing in the line together, mm-hmm, and, and you turn around and say, hi, how you doing? That's it. Hi, how are you? And, and the person probably will start talking to you. I'm doing fine today, right? That's it. And you say, Do you, um, I come to this grocery store all the time, or I come to this store all the time. I just work right up the street. Uh, let me give you a card um, just in case. You may need your hair done. You know, um, I'm, I'm right up the street. Give her a card and that's it. You don't have to prolong it. You don't have to drag stuff out. Don't drag it out because that's worsome. You don't want to be worsome. You just want to introduce yourself and you want to leave them with something to remember you by. The first impression, you ain't got long. You ain't got long. You see what I'm saying? You got, you got about two, three minutes. You don't have long at all. So always remember that. You hit it and quit it. You hit it and quit it. Leave them with a card. Go on to the next. Okay? Um, hit it and quit it sounds a little, little ghetto, don't it? I know it. I'm, I'm a little, yeah. Uh, what 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 my quote say sometime? I'm a classy woman with a little bit of hood and a whole lot of God. 
<laughs> That's me. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Go to events in your city. Go to events in your city. Okay, this is, this is important too. Because you have to be seen. This is, this is what, what business is up. You need to be seen. Okay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, uh, Natalie, yeah, we got a little, little something, little something. But go to events, okay, in your city. All right? Please save your life. Have to, okay, okay. Uh, it should save for 24 hours. So hopefully you can come back and watch it. Okay, Lan Lancaster DP. Go to events in your city. Concerts. Uh, conventions. Networking events. Be seen. Uh, if you're married, you and your husband, go to different events in your city. Okay? Go to, uh, sometimes we used to go to uh, wine tasting. We used to go out to... Um, uh, the the winery and and go hear jazz and go out in your in your city in your area okay you got to go out um a lot of stylists that i know are what you call introverts and they don't they don't go out and and you have to go out in this business okay um, uh, let's see, go where people frequent, go where people frequent. Okay. How do I, okay. Okay. Nick, Nicole, we'll definitely go over that. Uh, go to, uh, where people frequent like church. Um, let's see conferences, etc. Okay. I said that. Okay. Now, uh, when you go up to people, you introduce yourself. You have to learn to introduce yourself. And smile and say hello. My name is. Seize the opportunity that you're that you're alone with somebody in the aisle, or you're or you're standing in line with a person. When you are one on one, looking at one another, okay. This is when you attack. <laughs> I shouldn't say it like that, should I? But, but. You got to know when to go in for it, okay? And that is when you are eye to eye with someone already. You see what I'm saying? Shake hands, eye contact. Yes, 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 new wave Lex. okay? And this is, this is important. When you are one-on-one, -on -one, our business is very, very personal. It's very personal. And, and you have to go to them like that, too. Very personal. Okay? Farmer's market, lunch break. Yes. Yes, Natalie. So, you got to seize the opportunity, okay, when it's in front of you. Like, quickly. Like, you have to know quickly. Well, okay? When, when you're shopping, when, you, when it's time to pay for your stuff, even when you're shopping for clothes or... Or shopping for, for groceries or shopping for anything. Like she said, the farmer's market. When you are at the register, when you are eye to eye, that is your opportunity. You ain't got long. Okay? So you do it quickly. Hello, my name is Rhonda. I, I come here all the time. I, my, my salon is right up the street. Can I leave you with a card? And you just call me whenever you want your hair done. Bam. That's all. So practice practice your elevator pitch. What are you going to say about yourself that gathers their attention? Wow, I'm, I, I just work right up the street. Okay? I walk down here. My salon is right there. See? I, I would love for you to just come and visit. Uh, I'm new to the area, blah, blah, blah. Okay? But not too long. Hit it and quit it. Get in, get out. Hit it and quit it. Don't, don't, don't keep them too long. It gets a little worse. And leave them, and leave them with something. 
especially your personality. Learn how to be in actress mode, in actor mode. Learn how to do that. It's crucial. You practice this daily. Practice it daily. Practice it daily. You can practice it with your children. Mm -hmm. You can practice it with your husband. If you're mad at him, you could do you could do something like, you know what, baby? Oh, that's all right. We we we'll work it out. That's how easy it is. Granny. Got the girl Chick-fil-A window the same way. Yes, see? Shivali, yes. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah, you're gonna watch them for me. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yay. Oh, yes, that's awesome. Yes. Okay, trails, yes. Okay. Okay. So, actor mode, actress mode. You got to learn how to be in it. And you got to hit it and quit it so it don't wear you out. Hit it and quit it like real real quick. Okay? You you boom 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 and then you out. You leave it with the card and then you out. And you on to the next person. Okay? Uh now a lot of times when you broke, let me, let me, let me talk, talk when you broke, you gotta, you may have to commit to doing 20 cards a day. You can do this when you're off. I don't know when you're off on, on Saturdays, Sundays, uh, Mondays. I, I don't know, but, uh, hopefully you're not off too many days. Because you ain't there yet. You ain't there yet. Good night, Miss Rhonda. Uh, oh, okay, yes, butterfly kisses, okay. You ain't there yet. You got to put a little time in. Put your time in, okay? Since you want to work at a commission-based salon, if you work booth rent or at a commission-based salon, you got to have clients. It's not like working hourly somewhere. It's not like that where you get paid when you're just sitting. So we don't get paid. If we're not working, we don't get paid, right? Okay. So uh, we talked about being in actress mode or actor mode. You got to turn into somebody else for a minute, for a minute. And, and, and then you got to do it over and over and over. Okay, and it's okay because eventually that turns into your personality. Like, like, look at me. It it, it turns into your it is it merges. It's it's like together. This is just my personality because I've been doing hair for thirty years, and so I don't I don't really have to act anymore unless I feel bad, unless I'm sick. If I'm sick. I'm I'm still able to be just like this. Might be a little little toned down a little bit, but I'm still able to do this, and and that's how we have to be. Okay, it's a very it's a very taxing on your job. It it kind of it it kind of pulls on you a little bit, right? Yeah, yes, yes, new wave Lex. Okay, okay, I got once a week. Do a free hairstyle. Now, some people will uh, be like, nah, I ain't got no time to do nothing free. When you do a free hairstyle, this is this is the biggest thing to do is choose someone to do a free hairstyle on that is around a whole lot of people. Well, God has changed the dry filter. Look at it. Uh-huh. Okay. Choose someone that is around people, a lot of people. Okay, you can do a child. Mm-hmm, yeah. You can do a, a, a person that works down at the city uh, or uh, around a lot of people like the school system. Or uh, you see what I'm saying? Choose someone to do their hair free. Okay? It's, it's important. Now, don't do this on your work time, all right? Do this when you're, when you're off, okay? These are, these are tips that you could use to get people in your seat. 
the free ones are marketing and will draw exactly exactly so the the key is to get people to come to you that's not gonna hurt you to do one free hairstyle okay a, a week until until the brokenness is worn off if you broke do one hairstyle a week one hairstyle a week for free but the key is to do someone that is around a lot of people okay should you apply the same technique if you're a new hairstylist and in a new yes ma'am yes ma'am bryson no i don't want you touching the buttons okay okay so yes ma'am the same applies okay so um do a free hairstyle a week uh, like i said even if it's a child because what happened is when it's a child they go to school they go to school you know how many people's in school and how many teachers want their hair done when they see when they see a child with beautiful hair, trust me, they're looking. they like, wow. Her hair, her hair is so cute. One, who did your hair? They'll say. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, ma'am. Okay? If it's a child, you can do their hair. If it's your children, you can practice on their hair. Do their hair for free. Do somebody's hair for free, a child and a grown-up, okay? So one hairstyle a week. While you at work, you at work. While you at work, you at work. You can't, you can't really do no free hair at work because you at work. But you can do it when you're not at work or when you're off, okay? So that's a, that's a great tip that brings in people. But you can't just do anybody. You got to target. And this is one thing that, that I've been learning. You got to target. You know what targeting means? I got I to gotta, I gotta target you. I got to seek you out. I want you. I want you. Okay? Because I, you're around a lot of people. I, I, I need you. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. Okay. Go to, if you are, if you are a mother or a father, go to your uh, school events, go to school events. Yes. Go to school events, um, and meet other parents while you are at your child's events you should be introducing yourself. Yes, Shivali. You should be introducing yourself. Hey, how you doing? Oh, our child is in class together? Yes, he talks about your child all the time. Bam. Could be a potential client. Okay? So while you're in the school, you gotta, all, you gotta always be introducing yourself. Always. This job is pretty much pretty close to, yes, it is. Yes, it is, New Wave. Yes, it is. Should you go into a, a studio rental? Well, it depends on what kind of stylist you are, okay? If you are independent, if you have clientele, you can go to a studio rental, okay? Headed to a PTA meeting with a uh, uh, uniform. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Uh-huh, yes, introduce yourself. There's parents there, right? There's parents there that actually might be able to come to the salon while their children are at school, while you all's children are uh, at school. And that's who we want. We want clients all through the day, all through the day. That's why you have to market to everybody. And, and a lot of people don't agree with me, but, but you market to everybody. Because a man has a wife and a daughter. Uh-huh, yeah. Yeah, I market to everybody. Because 
I was broke. That's why. You approach things a little bit different when you're broke, don't you? I didn't really have time to be saying, mm, I don't want to do that. Mm, no, that's not what I do. No, um, I'm no, I ain't doing no curl. Uh, give me that hundred dollars, please. I'll take it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I didn't really have time to be, uh, you know, focusing on a certain type of person. Uh, I, I really didn't. So I market to everybody, and it filtered out, right? Brother, sister, cousin, yes, sir. They, they'll they give my card. If you know someone, give my card to them. You may have a, gir a girlfriend with a curl with curly hair. You may you may want a, a curl yourself. You might want uh, if if you if you got straight hair, you might want curly hair. These tips are for people who need clients in their seat. Okay? So thank everybody for joining. Is there a client on here that would like to come on with me to uh, tell me what they want in a salon? Hopefully we got a little bit of time. What time is it? Oh, Lord, I don't know what time it is. Brookie, what time is it, baby? Uh, let me see. Here, I guess. What time is it? Yeah, I ain't got no. I, I didn't have time for that. I had, like, two kids at home. Um, I was, I was, uh, po, okay? So, I made money. I made money, money. I made so much money that I didn't know what to do with it. I had, I had poor mentality up here too. Real, real bad. I had poor mentality up here. I had, I had a poor mentality. Um, and, 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 uh, giving somebody money with a, a poor mentality is a, a dangerous thing, ain't it? But I made a lot of money. I didn't really know what to do with it, right? But I but I made a lot. This is the one thing I know how to do is to make money. Okay? So um I don't think we have anybody on here that wants to come in with me. Let me see who this was. Um, does anybody want to come in with me? How do we handle natural clients? that want to work out in the ones with short hairstyles. Well, one thing about uh, a, a hairstyle, it's not going to stand up to sweat. I don't care. I don't care what nobody says. It's not going to stand up to sweat. That's wet. That's wet. So um, they would have to really practice on how to keep their hair while they're working out. Okay. Uh, and that's kind of up to the client. We give them tips, but that's kind of up to the client. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm so glad, Nicole. I'm so glad God continue blessing on you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm so glad that I could come on. I'm so glad that uh, I could help someone tonight because I know somebody will take one tip from this, at least one tip, to make your chair revolve, just, just make it revolve and do great work. When they come to you, you got to wow them a little bit, okay? You got to wow them a little bit, okay? Uh, I know, but when you tell them, let me see, when you tell them, uh, Natalie... Come in with me, Natalie. I want to know what you mean. At home care maintenance. At home and care maintenance. Lessons learned today. Praise God. Praise God. Okay. Oh, the baby's crying. Lord, have mercy. So, come in with me. Uh, request to come in with me. Uh, I think it was Nicole. No, no. That was Natalie. Okay, yes, thank you. That was so uh, helpful. Well, praise God. Praise God. I'm so glad. 
uh, we're going to run out of time, definitely. But um, they act like they wasn't, let's see, they act like they wasn't hair done over something. Natalie, you might need to, can you come in with me, Natalie, so we can talk about it? Because um, the key is when you are gaining someone's attention, you you have to be friendly, okay? They act like they wasn't hair done over or something. They want that. They act like they want their hair done over. Oh, if they act like they want their hair done over, um, if they act like they want their hair done over, do it over. Customer service is um, extremely crucial in this business. Extremely crucial. If they want their hair done over, do it over. Yeah. And um, if they if they get too too bad, you just say, I'm so sorry, you know, um, that it turned out like this. But uh, maybe I can give you your money back or... Um, or um, Maybe I can give you a free service. Maybe I could give you a free conditioner uh, or something like that. Okay? So if they act like they want their money back and they're not satisfied, then you have to make it right. You have to make it right. You know? So um, if no one is to come in with me, I'm going to go ahead and get off. And thank everybody so much for coming in with me. And uh, hopefully, you'll get somebody in your chair, right? Okay? So, I love y'all. I'll see you soon. Bye.